Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Percol's Espresso Coffee Bags and I already have reviewed the all day Americano um, type of these and I think these ones are available in Tesco, I got these in the company shop um, what I thought was maybe a bargain at 250 but I think they're priced around that in um, Tesco, the ones that I've seen so let's let's take a look quick look at the box uh, coffee on a mission intense espresso coffee bags plastic free rainforest alliance certified um, and 10 bags we've got some sort of competition on there if you find a golden coffee bag uh, on the side ingredients are 100 percent roasted coffee storage instructions the best before date is March 2021, so as I say, I thought maybe uh, the price may have been lower than the £2.50 when I paid for them, but uh, that's uh, quite a high price to pay for a coffee that's got maybe two months to go on the best before date. And packed in the UK for Food Brands Group, contact information there, and 80 grams, that's 10 times 8 grams. The description on the back says, Coffee is for life's doers and we've been on the go since day one. Percol was the first ground coffee to be fair trade certified and we've spent decades investing in the farmers who grow our delicious coffee generation after generation. Our next mission, plastic. These coffee bags in your hand are plastic free and soon our whole company will be. Can coffee change the world? Well, we won't know until we try. So pour another cup of the good stuff, we've got work to do, deliciously decadent and rich with dark chocolate notes, our intense espresso beans make this a strong cup to remember. I think I may have tried the Percol Espresso in either ground form or coffee beans at some point. And there's the way to brew your coffee, add the coffee bag to mug, well we'll get into that a bit more later. And there we go. More on the sides, coffee, this coffee, picked by hand and freshly roasted in the UK. When you care, you do it properly. Rainforest Alliance certified, and coffee is the heart and soul of our farming communities. So we're investing in the next generation of coffee growers, helping their farms and families thrive. And I think that may be it for the box. So let's get it open and take a look at the bags they should be individually wrapped take me there we go so let's take a look at the bags that they come in there we go pick all coffee on a mission and there we go once again it's just repeating what's on the box there this sachet is home compostable throw it away with your food scraps so there we go what i'll do now is i'll get set up and then um, we'll give these a try So that's had about three minutes, so let's extract the bag. So here we go. I'll just quickly show you the actual bags, the material that they're made from. And they're not like your normal tea bags, these, it's that sort of biodegradable sort of meshy sort of um, plasticky material I don't think it's not plastic anyway but yeah it's that sort of funny material that the better um, quality coffee bags use anyway so as I say that's had about three minutes now I have actually tried a couple of these in the meantime 
I'll just add a little bit of um, sugar and milk and a little bit of sugar about a quarter of a teaspoon I would say I normally have in my coffee not worth it really I might as well pack in the sugar all together but let's have a quick try quite strong as I say I have tried a couple of these before doing this review and taste wise as I say quite strong and dark slightly smoky and a little woody uh, it's quite bitter too there's a very slight metallic hint and it's disappointingly a bit weak in body I do like my espresso beans to have a nice caramelized sweetness but there's none of that here and the bitterness is the overriding aspect of these coffee bags and as usual with coffee bags don't forget to leave that last mouthful in the cup because you do get quite a lot of debris or sludge left at the bottom of the cup that really should be retained by the bag but never is and not just the purple ones coffee bags from all the brands have the same problem of sludge left in the cup so maybe don't be too vigorous when stirred in the bag, which may help. Um, in the end, I ended up not stirring the bag at, at all. Just get the air out of the bag, leave it in there for three minutes and then take the bag out. So, as I say, a little disappointing and I'll give them a score of two out of five. If, you're, if this is your only method of brewing, then they may be worth a try, uh, but... As I say, not really espresso um, quality of some of the other ones that I've tried in the past. So yeah, I'd give them a miss really, unless it's your only way of making coffee. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried these coffee bags, any of the other Percol coffee bags or any of the other Percol coffees which seem to be a little bit scarce um, lately in the shops. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.